Good day to all, dear subscribers and viewers of the channel. Vitaly Sokolov with you. Today we will look at a game engine for creating games of different genres for several popular platforms. And before we start, put your finger under the video, subscribe to the channel, write a comment and click on the bell so as not to miss new videos. This is important for video promotion. Today we will talk about an engine like Apus. Apus game engine is a cross-platform game engine. The engine is a set of APIs that are implemented partly by their own code and partly through external libraries. The current version of the engine 4. The creator of the engine is a programmer from Belarus Ivan Polyakov. A PUS game engine is primarily focused on 2D games, but there are options for working with 3D. This engine is the result of the creation of a number of games, mainly card games, at a PUS software. And it gradually developed into a full, fledged engine, which became available to the public for free and with completely open source codes on GitHub. The engine itself is very tiny in size, but inside it lies pretty good features. And even the creator of the castle game engine Michalis Gamburilis is the patron of the author of this engine. Delphi and Lazarus programming environments are supported, and Free Pascal compiler is also supported. The new fourth version of the engine allows you to create games for one of two operating systems, Windows and Linux. Support for the iOS operating system remained from previous versions, and it is in a rather outdated video for now. The Android mobile platform is still under development and currently only partially supported. The main graphics system is Opengl. Support for DIRECT3D, which remained in older versions. A PUS can work with the following graphic formats, TGA, PNG, JPG, BMP, PVR, DDS. It is also possible to work with 3D models in OBJ and ICM formats. There is a technology for preloading images. The engine has the ability to work with particles, shaders and post-processing to improve graphics and create graphic special effects. For working with sound, there are the following libraries base, Imixer, only for Windows OS, LibSDL, for all platforms, as well as native iOS and Android interfaces. Built and support for keyboard, mouse, gamepads and touch screens. As well as work with monitor modes. In the game engine, you can create individual scenes and work with them. Supports connection and work with external fonts, text and effects for it. It is also possible to create web-enabled applications. There are two implementations of the client-server protocol, UDP-based and HTTP-based. The engine has a developed UI system that can be used not only for games but also for any other applications, editors, utilities, etc. The following games are written on this engine, Star Madness Astral Tournament Spectrumancer, available for Windows and iOS. It can be found on Steam, on the gaming website and the App Store Astral. Astral Heroes, available for Windows. The game is available on Steam and on the gaming site. Astral Masters, available for Windows and iOS. Astral Towers, available for Windows and Linux. The game can be found on Steam I invite you to watch a video cut from games that are created on the Apus engine.
The engine documentation is only available in English, but you can translate it using Google Translator. At the moment, work on it continues, as it is far from complete. The engine is not difficult to work with, and you can start developing games on it pretty quickly. A PUS engine is being actively developed and updated. And on the Patreon site, you can support the development of this engine. Download links and other useful links a PUS game engine is available for you in the description under the video. Based on all that has been said, I can recommend using this engine for creating 2D games with good optimization for Windows and Linux platforms. And then you can port them to Android and iOS, using the current capabilities of the engine, or by waiting until they become more modern. The engine also supports the Steam API. This will allow you to easily publish your games to Steam. And also this engine is free, and with open source codes, which allows it to remain flexible, and the user can change it, modify it or fix bugs. That's all for me. If this video was useful to you, like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell so as not to miss anything new. Ask your questions in the comments. Vitaly Sokolov was with you. Good luck to you all in creating new games. See you in new videos, bye.